Well, um, ever since I was little, I always had a ball in my hand. So it came down to soccer and baseball when I was young because my parents wouldn't let me play football yet. So um, my dad was a baseball player. So I guess I grew up around him, watching him play softball, softball fields on the weekends. So it's kind of naturally that I started playing baseball. But um, I actually didn't stop playing soccer until I moved to Florida and I was old enough and they let me start playing football. So then I moved to just baseball and football. So I played baseball and football all the way out through high school and then made the transition into just playing baseball in college. So. Well, um, that's hard because I moved around a lot being in a military family. So it kind of depended on which city I was in at the time. But I, I actually really started playing baseball when I was in Seattle. And that was when the Mariners had, they had Jay Bruner, they had Griffey, A-Rod, and I always wanted to be a position player. So Griffey was definitely my favorite when I was growing up. I loved watching Griffey with the hat backwards and the home run derbies, and yeah, Griffey was definitely my favorite. You know, I think it all started when I started on varsity as a freshman in high school. And that's when I kind of realized, hey, I think I might be good enough to play with the older kids because I was a year younger, so I was 14 years old playing against 17, 18 year olds. Granted, I wasn't pitching, I was catching at the time, but I think my freshman year in high school is when I finally think it solidified that I might have a chance to play at the next level. I had really good coaching when I was younger. I actually played for the same coach from when I was eight years old until I entered high school. And then my high school coach was a former Division II All-American at Troy University. And um, he was a really good catcher when he was in college, and I was a catcher in high school. So I focused more on hitting than I did pitching, actually. And um, he, he really helped me because I had a problem. I always tried to do too much. I always tried to, I'm not really a home run hitter, but I always tried to hit the ball out of the park or whatever. And he just really helped me stay within myself. And I, I can use that now pitching instead of trying to overthrow or trying to strike everybody out. I just stay within myself and I'm able to generate outs that way. I think that helps a lot. Um, I kind of have both mentalities, a hitting mentality and a pitcher's mentality. So I kind of can think, okay, if I was a hitter here, what would I be looking for? And I think it helps me a lot when it comes down to choosing which pitch to throw and which count. So I know up in the count, most hitters aren't gonna not look fastball because you, you don't want to miss the fastball. After you miss a fastball and a 2-0 count, you just eat up at you, so I kinda, it kind of helps me pitch guys backwards a little bit, you know, throw all speed stuff, throttle them in the hitter's counts, and I think it helps a lot. Well, I actually, I was lucky enough to get a lot of early looks as soon as I, my junior year, I guess my junior summer, when teams are allowed to start talking to you July 1st, I actually had a lot of calls that day. So I guess I never tried to look too far in advance. I tried to just, you know, stay day to day, but I guess my junior summer was when I had a lot of um, calls, but mostly of junior colleges around Pensacola area. And um, of course, University of West Florida and a couple other Division IIs over there talked to me. But, um, and then I played, on a really good, I played on a really good travel team my junior summer. We had a lot of guys get drafted off of that team. And a lot of guys played big Division I schools. We had a couple guys start as freshmen at big Division I SEC schools. So. That always helped. There was a lot of people watching them, kind of traveled around, watched us play. So, got some extra looks there. But um, yeah, I guess July of my junior summer is when I really knew I had a chance to play in college. Actually, I was already signed to play junior college ball in Florida at Gulf Coast Community College, and I had never even heard of Delta State until I was playing on a Mississippi Stars travel team my senior summer. And um, the coach of that team, Harry Porter, is good friends with Coach Kennison. And he told me, he's like, I know you've already signed, but I really think Delta State would fit you well. I think you need to go on a visit up there and at least go check it out. And I said, okay, I will. And that was not much more than a month before school started, my freshman year of college. So I came up here. My dad loved it. I loved it. I loved the atmosphere. I liked the small town. And what really turned me on to coming here was the tradition of winning. I, my high school team wasn't very good, so I really wanted a chance to compete at a high level and win and have a chance to go to a World Series. So that's really what got me here. Overall, it's been a really good experience. Uh, a lot of learning, learned a lot of stuff. 
um, both on and off the field, just getting away from home and living by yourself with roommates, no parents. You, I think you grow a lot. And um, baseball-wise, Coach Kennison is such a stickler for details. He he's really um, helped me by focusing not on just the big picture, but every single little detail, day in and day out. And um, he goes over a lot of situations you wouldn't even imagine practicing and practice. And sure enough, it always shows up in a big, a big game somewhere down the line. And um, I think it all starts with the starting pitching. Um, if the starters can go out there and put up zeros early, it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off the hitters, and they're allowed to relax at the plate. And I think that's really when you see that contagious hitting you're talking about, when, when our starters go out there and show the team, hey, I've got the game under control. Go out there and put some runs up, and we'll be fine. And so it all starts with zeros from the starters. But the hitters are they they taste they face some tough pitchers here in the last couple of weeks, and they've still done good. But um, it's, that's what that's what causes the contagious hitting. When a little bit of pressure is relieved, and they start relaxing. Pitchers got to go through the lineup a couple more times, and it's never good. Never good for the teams. Thank you.